everyone, welcome to today's episode of Jesus Talks with Joanne. I am excited to talk with you again and share a little bit about what um, I've been going through lately and just some epiphanies that I have personally had about my own life and how I think about things. So today we're going to be talking about walking the line between control and surrender. And this is something that has been really, really big for me. I realized a lot of what I'm about to talk to you about is stuff that I had this massive realization about almost two months ago now. And so I've been working on ingraining this into my life and it's way easier said than done. Let me just tell you that now, but let's dive in. Okay, so you know, in a lot of these videos, I've talked about the concept of control and how we are in control of ourselves. In fact, when we look at the fruits of the spirit, which I do not have memorized because I failed that part of elementary school Bible verse memorization, but I do know that they are love, peace, patience, kindness, and self-control. And there's, I think, a few others that I always forget, but self-control is in there. And I, for the longest time, didn't really understand how that fit in. And I was trying to figure out basically where my level of control was um, in my life, because I was basically operating under this idea of God is in control of everything. Basically, I'm a puppet on a string, and that's not really a healthy way of thinking, in my opinion. And yeah, so I was not taking responsibility for the control that I had over myself for a very, very, very long time. And the hardest thing for me in regards to self-control was reconciling that with the idea of surrender because there were there have been a lot of things that I've gone through I'm not going to go and do all of the stories because there's too many and that would take too long I've been through a lot of seasons of time where I have needed to surrender and where I've thought that I've understood what the meaning of surrender was and I was really surrendering some of those things were very important to surrender but a lot of the time I was surrendering things that really were like my job to take care of and I started realizing recently that I have been spending a lot of time trying to surrender the things that I can control and control the things that I need to be surrendering so I basically had the two flipped so I was trying to surrender everything about myself everything that I actually had power over. And I was to trying to control the things that I don't have power over. So when it comes to our relationship with God and our own self-control versus what we surrender, I really think that that is, that there is a big line there with, we can control ourselves. We have control over what we say, what we do, how we show up, how we respond. These kinds of things are all things we, we need to claim responsibility for and that we have we have control. And then there are the things that we don't have control over whatsoever, no matter how hard we try to. And that is whether we get cast in the show that we worked really, really, really hard on our audition for, because maybe the casting directors liked you best, but maybe you weren't the right fit. Maybe somebody else was a better fit. So no matter how hard you work, you're not in control of actually getting cast. That's a hard one. So that's something that we don't have control over. That's something that we need to surrender. Um, the things that we don't have control over are the way that people respond to what we say. We can control ourselves. We can't control how other people react or respond. We can't control what's going on in the world around us or what other people do. Like we just, we don't have control over other people. So those are the things, again, that we get to surrender. And so I don't know if you've been in the personal development field, but I've heard a lot of talk about like surrendering the how. So you know what you want, you know what you're working towards, you do the work that you can do to get there and you kind of surrender the like your expectations of like how it's gonna happen. And I never could get my mind around it. I was like, well, how it happens is the steps that I'm taking and that gets me the outcome. And th the missing piece for me was that like, yes, I can control these steps. I can work on making things happen based on these steps. What I can't control is necessarily like who is receiving what I'm saying, who is drawn into my sphere, how exactly everything I want like works itself out. And so 
in regards to just living everyday life and things that are going on in the world right now, like obviously we have no control over how other people are behaving, but we do have control over ourselves and how we respond to what happens in the world at large. We have no control over the virus and how it is spreading or what is going on with it. We have control over our ability to stay at home, to wear a mask, to wash our hands, things like that. So we surrender basically whether or not we get it, which is scary because it's outside of our control. We surrender other people's actions and we do what we can because we waste so much energy and it creates so much stress trying to control other people that we just, we can't, we can't do that. So I know this is Jesus Talks with Joanne. I know that this is something that um, I haven't really mentioned God much in the context of this video yet, but this is very spiritually relevant because the things that we have control over are our domain. That is what we get to do. That's our job description as human beings. The things that we don't, those are God's domain. Those are the things that we get to say, okay, God, I, I will do what I can. I will do everything in my power. And I give the rest to you because I can't do, I can't do what I can't do. I can't control what I can't control. And that is where we trust God. And that is where we surrender. And that is where we're like, okay, whatever happens, I believe that God is working good in the midst of all of it. I'm not going to say everything that happens is God's will because I don't believe that. I don't believe that everything that happens is God's will. I do, however, believe that God is in the midst of everything, whether it be good or evil, working for unspeakable good. And that is something that has brought me a lot of comfort is knowing that I can trust God even in dark seasons and knowing that God is there. Um, and also knowing that I still have control over me and that I still get to decide a lot of how I want to show up and how I want my life to look. And so I hope this was encouraging to you. I hope this gave you some support during such a unprecedented time in our world. And I hope that you are having a good weekend wherever you are. I hope you're having a great day whenever you see this. And I will see you next time.